everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Tatis Tuesday, and today we've got kind of a weird box. We've never opened one of these on the channel before. It's literally just a plain white box, but inside there's going to be some good packs. There's a whole gravity case of 2019 Topps Series 2. As you can see, they're all, I don't know if these would have been reserved for Target or Walmart, but they're definitely retail packs because there's 16 cards per pack. Now, the hobby pack offerings had 14 cards, so a little bit more cards per pack in this, which is good because it gives us an increased chance at finding the Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card, along with the other good rookie cards of 2019. Most notably, the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. short print card would be a really nice find. Also, Pete Alonso and Aloy Jimenez rookie cards are in here as well. And I believe, believe some others that are coming up, like Patrick Wisdom and so on. So we've got a whole bunch of these to open. <clears throat> There's 36 total packs. Let's go ahead and get into this for Jack. Jack, thank you very much. Jack is our sponsor for this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one, you can check us out on Patreon. It's $3 per month, and that will give you access to all of our breaks, which, by the way, we have a break coming up tomorrow. It's going to be 2021 Select. And uh, also, I think I'm going to do some top jumbos right after Select because I love Series 2. I just absolutely love going after those short prints. I love the silver packs that have been really good to us. And I love those uh, 70 years of tops refractors on the top of each jumbo box. And then again on Friday, we'll go live. We've got Stadium Clubs. It's a busy week here. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, also, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps the videos out. So Tatis Tuesday's back. I don't do it every Tuesday, but uh, Tatis, of course, hurt right now. Day to day, he's got a, sh a little bit of a bum shoulder, tweaked his shoulder. Hopefully, he's going to be back maybe as early as today or tonight i guess i should say big big news today around the mlb is it looks like wander franco is going to make his major league debut so finally wander mania is upon us now wander does not have his nice framber wander doesn't have a rookie card and look at this a vladimir guerrero jr no number on it in the very first pack we get the short print vladdy so these are really tough to find it's a short print card, and Vladdy is just super hot right now, of course, leading the ma major leagues in home runs. And literally, like eight cards in, we have the short print Vladdy. I can't even talk right now. Uh, all right, so that Vladdy is an amazing card for Jack. And um, we're just going to pause right there. And I think, um, I don't know what that one goes for, but I do think that since I have some one touches. We're ready to go. We're going to have to one-touch this bad boy because, like I said, that is a short print. I do not have my computer nearby to look up what the recent sales of this card are going for. And I wasn't even expecting to pull this card. I was expecting to find so at least two Tatis cards in here, hopefully. The Tatis in the PSA 10 goes for about 200 A Vladdy um, PSA 10 rookie card from Update, I think, is about 100 to 125 So the actual short print on it, no number on the front, is an absolutely huge pull in the very first pack. And we are not even... That just looks, that's a great-looking card. We're not even near done. We're just getting started. That's only one pack. We've got 35 more to go for Jack. So, Jack, thank you very much. Congrats on the huge pull to start the video. Let's go ahead and get some more of these packs out on the screen. I guess what I'll do is uh, I'll take them all out. It'll make it a little easier than messing around with the box after each and every pack. I love 2019 Top Series 2. That's it's one of my favorite sets, so I'm glad that we get to open it every now and again here on the um, Tatis Tuesday. Now, obviously, I think Tatis is going to win this in, in terms of facing off against... Vladdy, usually it seems like Vladdy ends up winning in our Tatis Tuesdays just because some of his, some of the products out there had more than one rookie card of them. Like Archives, for example, had the Future Stars card. All right, next pack up. Let's see what we can find for Jack. It feels like my voice is giving out just a little bit. I don't think I'm getting sick, but um, I am filming this very, very early. And, oh man, look who it is. It is the Tatis. Fernando Tatis Jr. comes out as well. So in a PSA 10, that is a about, about a $200 card. We'll go ahead and put that one right there now at the peak of the card boom, which was 
uh, a few months ago, that card was going for about $300 to $315. And as you know, Tatis hasn't done anything wrong. And by the way, the lights are flickering. Do you see that? Lights are flickering here. It is early Tuesday morning. And um, I was hoping my voice was going to be not going out. But the, uh, yeah, it's not even light out yet. The lights are flickering here. I'm hoping that we don't have a power outage. That would suck. But yeah, as I was saying about the Tatis, back a few months ago at the height of the card boom, if you don't know, the card industry is slowing down a little bit. Ever since PSA shuttered their doors and closed down for a few months, um, really kind of hampered a lot of interest, at least in the graded card market. And um, we've seen the Tatis drop from about a $300 to $315 card down to about $200. So when I saw that, uh, I grabbed one up for myself. Because, uh, obviously, like I said, Tatis isn't doing anything wrong. He's leading the big leagues in home runs right now. Or not the big leagues, but leading the National League with 22. This big boy over here is leading the big leagues. Vladdy and Tatis. There's Reese McGuire. He just had, I think, a four-hit game two days ago. Former Pirates number one pick. Mookie Betts. Couldn't believe that there was a Mookie Betts first Bowman in one of our Mystery Box Mondays. That's an awesome card. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I've looked up that card in a while i thought it was maybe like a 20 dollar card it sells for like 50 bucks raw so awesome card right there so tatis tuesday another hit with a tatis i'm hoping for two <clears throat> i don't know if that's being greedy or not and uh, if we wanted to get really greedy we would hope for a gold tatis which would absolutely just be crazy there's a nice shohei otani gold cup card of course shohei is going to be in the home run derby and I don't know if there's been any other um, confirmed players yet, but I would. How about how about this for Homer Derby? Wouldn't this be a dream? Shohei Otani in there with Vladdy Jr., Tatis Jr. Let's go ahead and get um, Tat, um, Acuna Jr. in there as well. And then I know Mike Trout doesn't usually like to do Homer Derby, but that would be pretty cool to get him in there as well. Some guys um, think that the home run derbies kind of mess up their swings. We have seen some players that have par participated in home run derbies in the past have uh, really poor second halves where their just production falls off the face of the earth. And um, I don't know. Also, they're a little worried about fatiguing themselves, and because that is uh, that's max effort swings there over and over again, as many as you can swing in about I think it's five minutes with the uh, newer rules that they instituted a few years ago. It used to be you would get 10 outs, and any swing that didn't result in a home run was an out. So um, with these new rules, you can just keep on swinging. I think the only rules are that you can't have the next pitch delivered to you until the previous ball has landed. It is made for some really interesting home run derbies. The, the home run derby at Cleveland a couple years ago in 2019 with Vladdy against Pete Alonso was amazing. Pete would obviously go on to win that, but... I think that Vladdy stole the show that day. You might remember Vladdy and Jock Peterson in their epic face-off. Just absolutely amazing. And um, maybe that tired Vladdy just enough for Pete Alonso to take it. Uh, speaking of Pete Alonso, we're looking for his rookie card in this set as well. There is a Sean Newcomb gold card. Nice one right there. And, of course, Aloy Jimenez, who I mentioned. And we're not even really uh, scratching the surface yet. We're only not, we're not even through our first stack of 2019 Series 2. Here we go into our next one. There's a Miles Straw rookie card. Speedy guy for the Astros. Kyle Wright, Trevor Richards. Lots of rookie cards in this set. I don't know. Oh, look at this. We get a Chris Shaw autograph. I was not expecting to find an autograph at all. You might say, why? Well, because the retail, this is a retail, I believe it's a gravity feed box. Like uh, you might see those gravity feed boxes on the walls at Target or, um, yeah, it's mostly Target. But I feel like these boxes were would be um, sent to the distributors to just kind of restock those. So they didn't need to be all spruced up and nice looking, just white boxes. I don't even know what the chances are of an, auto, of an autograph would be. Um, you can maybe pause it and let me know. There's obviously different types of autographs in there. That's obviously not a autograph relic, which would be one in 66,000 packs. But you can let me know if you can find that. I just uh, don't have time to go through and read all of that right now because I like to keep these videos moving along for you guys. Ramos Garcia right there. Michael Waka. There's Tanaka. He's back over in Japan. There's a nice home run challenge card of Mike Trout. Of course, that card is basically useless now because the 2019 season ended couple years ago so those codes are no longer good all right we're starting into the second stack now of this tatis tuesday 
One of these days, I'd like to go live on a Tuesday and break some 2019 product and uh, have like a live stream. Maybe go back and for old time's sake, do a case. There's a nice Lou Gehrig insert card. I think my longest ever, I, well, I think I broke the record, but before an archive stream that was like nine hours and 11 minutes, I did have a nine hour stream of this product right here, 2019 Top Series 2. Probably found hundreds of Tatis rookie cards, and back then he was a nice prospect, but he wasn't anything like uh, crazy to write home about in terms of value. Um, his cards, were, his raw cards, were probably worth a buck or two at the time. And uh, nowadays, man, everybody wants his cards, and I think the demand is only going to increase as we continue through this 2021 season. I, he's on fire for sure, and he's been on fire. There's a Reese McGuire rookie card blue border if you uh, if tatis could stay healthy and he has been injured quite a bit in his career if he could stay healthy his 162 game average is 50 home runs and uh, personally i think that's just um i think he might add more power believe it or not because he's six three he's slender and i think he's just going to add some more muscle as he uh, gets a little bit older so that's usually what happens with these younger guys with the slim builds. They fill out. They slow down a bit in terms of their, their speed, but then the power goes up. How about, by the way, Ron Acuna Jr., speaking of the young guys, getting his 100th career home run the other day. He's the sixth fastest player to 100 home runs. And there's Pete Alonso right there. Pete Alonso rookie card. Nice one. I will put it on the screen. Good old Pete. His cards have taken a big nosedive after his... Uh, terrible 2020 campaign where he just struggled. But um, as you might recall, in 2019, Pete Alonso was all the rage. He was the number one guy. I remember looking for Pete Alonso and everybody going crazy for him. And also, Vladdy was in the. I, I'm actually, I take that back. I think Vladdy was the number one guy in 2019, the summer of 19. Then some people started to get a little bit, um, you know, apprehensive about him because he didn't have the greatest 2019 or 2020 in terms of power numbers and average wise. But Pete broke the single-season rookie record with, uh, what do you have, like 53 or 54 home runs in 2019. Kevin Newman rookie card, who has the all-time single-season record for a spring training batting average at like 606. And there's Aloy Jimenez. Let's add him to the party. So lots of nice rookies. You got one of all of the good ones, Jack, and the uh, hitting the... Um, I don't know. I guess we'll call these the core four of 2019 Series 2 is is actually really, really tough to do. It's quite a feat, and we have done it today. The reason why it's quite a feat is because that Vladdy Jr. short print card is an awful tough pull. I'm not sure what the odds of finding that one are. Typically in the past with short print cards, like the Ronald Acuna Jr. bat down card in 2018 Series 2 in Glaber Torres, those were found roughly one per case, which is one in every 12 hobby boxes, which would be one in roughly one in every, uh, I don't know, 144 hobby packs. I think that's that, that would be right. Actually, no, one double that, one in 288. And look at this. Speaking of doubling up. We just doubled up on Tatis, our second Fernando Tatis Jr. card for Jack. So congratulations on that one. This is quite a haul right now. You might think, all right, so I got to get myself a box of these. What is Series 2 going for nowadays? Well, like I mentioned earlier, there is a bit of a market correction. Things are going down right now. If you would have bought these same packs or this same exact box... A, a 36 pack gravity box. Um, now, there's none of this exact box anywhere on eBay that I've seen, but there is the gravity box that has the nice, um, you know, outside with the cover and everything. Those were about $550 a month or two ago, and they have now dropped to around $400 or so, $350 to $400. So you can probably pick yourself up one on eBay for about $400 after tax and shipping somewhere in there. And, um, you know, try your luck. Some people obviously might say, eh, I'll just wait till they go down a little bit more. There's Patrick Wisdom. He's probably the number, what do you think, number five rookie in this set right behind these other guys? Framber Valdez is doing pretty good as well. So definitely some nice rookies. We'll sleeve up that, um, that Patrick Wisdom as well for Jack. So 
Let's see, Jack. We've got about a stack and a half left for you on this Tatis Tuesday. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow with Select. There's four hits per box in 2021 Select. Two autographs and two relics. Should be fun. We'll be live tomorrow probably around 8.30 or so. And uh, I'm expecting the Select portion to maybe be about an hour, hour and a half. And then after that, we'll get into some jumbos. I really enjoy doing the jumbo breaks, as you probably know by now. I love Top Series 2, and I, I'm i kind of, um, I don't know, maybe I had um, my motivation for Series 2 really increase dramatically when I found the super, super short print of Alec Bohm for Raymond. By the way, Raymond, your card shipped yesterday, so with uh, $1,000 insurance on it. Along with all of your other cards, plus um, signature confirmation. That should be there soon. Look at this. We've got a short print of Mel Ott. That's pretty cool right there. Now, short print cards are typically going to be about 10 bucks or so, 5 to 10 bucks, depending on who it is. Mel Ott, not a big name. That might be a $5 card. Let's just toss out a number. If you really want to know how much a card is actually worth in today's marketplace, the best thing to do is to go on eBay recently sold and check out what it's going for. Look for the numbers that pop up in green. And that will tell you. So there's a nice gold Baltimore Orioles card. I really hope that we can find one more Tatis. I said I wanted two. We got two. I'm getting a little greedy here, I guess. It'd be really, really amazing to find a, a numbered parallel. If that happens, if we found like a Tatis Independence Day, I'm probably just going to have to, uh, you know, run off to the other side of the room, grab my laptop, and see how much that's going for because that could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. There's Jace Fry, 150th anniversary of Topps. This year, Topps is celebrating their 70th anniversary, if um, you're kind of new to the hobby. But uh, it's a really cool thing. I really am, am enjoying Topps this year. It wasn't a big design, or a big fan of the design when it first came out, but I do love that 70 years of Topps set. Really enjoying the refractors on the top of the jumbo boxes. And uh, I'm loving the silver packs with the 86 style cards in there. So. Um, I think the Tops has done a really good job with Series 2, especially with their super, super short print rookie cards. The reverse negatives are the top rookie cards. So you got guys like Alec Bohm and Key Brian Hayes and Joe Adele and so on and so forth that are super short printed. And uh, the odds of finding those, I don't have them, but I can tell you that they are probably going to be, I think I've opened about maybe like, what do you think, guys? Like 18 cases so far. I have one super, super short print. So that's it's probably going to be around there, if not, tougher and i'd like to find another one so and you know what the ultimate goal with tops would be to find one of those celebration of the decades ticket the golden ticket so to speak where you get to go out to las vegas and look at this dave winfield that is a short print that's the presser where he signed with the yankees hall of famer dave winfield a great card right there let's go ahead and toss that on the screen so jack you're getting a nice box here i'm glad that we got a winner for you that would really stink if the best card was like an Aloy Jimenez. We didn't have anything else, but we are we're loading it up here for Jack today. By the way, Jack, um, I just shipped all of your cards out from your recent breaks in a large fly, large priority, large priority flat rate box. So I'll get these in with your July Patreon packages. Speaking of those, by the way, almost all done with all of those. Uh, the fifty-one dollar tier is the last main big one that I had to get out, and uh, I am working through those. And it looks like I'll be able to probably get those out by the end of the week because I bought a whole bunch of blasters from um, eBay to make sure I can get those out before the end of the month. I checked on Still City Collectibles to see what was going on with the blaster cases of Series 2. And uh, it says there on their page that they're delayed till July 9th. And I was like, no way. I'm not waiting till July 9th to get this tier out. So I went through and I made offers on basically every single blaster box lot out there trying to, to get them for as close as to retail as possible and uh, i think i did pretty good there's some mookie bets jeff samarja so we've got two packs left to find one of the big rookies overall we had a great box here we hit the core four we got all four top rookies we got two short prints we got an autograph which was unexpected and uh, of course the coolest part about it on a Tatis Tuesday was getting two Tatis cards, two Tatis rookie cards 
in these packs. There's a Manny Machado right there. And it's always better, I guess, if you, if the prices are the same. Honestly, I would rather have retail packs than hobby packs from 2019 just because of the two extra cards. Those two extra cards, when you multiply that out over the course of the box, what do we got there? Two times 36. That's 72 cards extra that you're getting in a retail box over, say, a, a hobby box, which I think are about the same. That's like getting a free uh, hanger of 2019 Series 2, which those hangers are pretty expensive. I think they're at least, uh, what, over $100 or so? Look at this. Our third short print. It's a Chipper Jones lounging in the dugout before the days of cell phones. Instead of being on his phone, he's actually reading a newspaper there. That's pretty cool. A young Chipper Jones. That picture was probably taken very early 90s, uh, maybe mid-90s. Sometimes we forget his rookie was 1991 tops, and he didn't really break into the big leagues for good until I think it was like 94. I had, I had an injury to start his career. By the way, we are pretty much done here. Mark Cannon is the last card. So overall, I thought that was a great box. You can see on the screen, three short prints. We got all the good rookie cards, including the tough-to-find short print Vladdy Jr. card and two Tatis rookie cards for Jack. So thank you very much, Jack. By the way, guys, if you'd like to check us out on Patreon, you just got to join there. It's $3 per month. Higher tiers get boxes and packs sent to you every single month. Um, some of our most popular ones are the $51 tier, which gets a blaster box and four additional newer packs. The newer packs this month were 2021 Bowman, 2021 Series 1 Tops, 2021 Heritage, an opening day pack, and a blaster of Series 2. The $99 tier had all those packs plus two additional packs. And um, also one of those blasters in the $99 tier, which you get two blasters, was a 2021 Bowman. So I'm working my way around the internet trying to find some stadium club for next month in blasters we'll see if i'm able to do that um i think we've got big league coming up uh, july 2nd along with optic lots of new releases coming out guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh check us out every day as we do videos every single day tomorrow big day looking forward to the select uh preview video and the case break so that'll do it for today hope you guys have a great rest of your tuesday and i will see you all tomorrow good night everybody